Oh, there you are, YouTube. You know what? I made a little logo thing very, very poorly in less than, you know, probably five minutes. But let's put it, that in there really quick and see, 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 what, see what that's like. Oh, there you are, YouTube. Any good? Should I just stick to, you know, me saying it? Or is the logo good? I'll still do voiceover over the logo, maybe. I don't know. What do you think? Today I watched the movie Minari, which is getting a lot of Oscar buzz, and I think for good reason. It was a great film, in my opinion. I think, like, when it comes to the... This is just off at the top of my head. I don't have a list in front of me right now. But when it comes to the films that have quite a bit of Oscar buzz that I've seen, I'm still missing a few. Need to do a little bit of catching up. But as of right now, my favorite ones are this film, Minari, uh, also Nomadland, and Judas and the Black Messiah. Um, I just, I think all three of those films are very strong and I'd like them, you know, all to be in, in consideration, high consideration for Best Picture. But again, there are some films that I still need to see. Uh, one of my favorite things, I mean, this is very superficial, uh, very subjective, but one of my favorite things about Minari is that Stephen Yun is in it. And if you know The Walking Dead, you know him as Glenn from The Walking Dead. And that's just really cool. I, I love the fact that a movie he is starring in, a movie that he is leading in as, as a fan of his from his time on Walking Dead, I just am very excited that a movie he's leading in, it could most likely, possibly, I don't want to jinx anything, be nominated for Best Picture. And, you know, maybe he could get a acting nomination. I think that would be absolutely fantastic. I'm definitely rooting for him. I'm very much rooting for that movie. Um, I, 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 just, I think it's fantastic. I, I, uh, my wife read a little bit about uh, how this film was conceived and like the idea behind it and um, a lot of it comes from just the director's own memories from growing up. So in a way it's autobiographical. Um, it just... I don't know, I think it's a beautiful film and kind of anxiety inducing. It's kind of stressful because things are going on an okay path for quite a while. I mean, they have their struggles, they have their issues, but the rug was never pulled out from underneath them for quite some time in this movie. And I feel like the whole time you're watching it, you're like, everything seems a little too good here. I, and it seems like they're setting up a lot of bad things. When is something bad going to happen? And they have all these different things that they're sort of setting up. And, you know, I'll, I'll let you watch the movie and see which ones happen, which ones don't, which ones half happen, which ones half don't. It's, um, I don't know. I, I thought it was great the way it was told. It was, it was, I don't know. Again, I'm rooting for it. I'm rooting for it. I'm rooting for Nomadland and Judas and the Black Messiah. Movies that I need to see still. Promising Young Woman. Uh, Mank, which is, you know, right there, right available to me on Netflix. I just haven't watched it yet. Um, I don't know why, but, like, it's David Fincher. But I'm just, for some reason, I'm not, like, itching to see it. And I'm just sort of waiting for it to get the Oscar nomination for Best Picture before I do see it. Like, just so... You know, it just sort of like forces me a little bit more to watch it. Um, and then, I don't know, what else? The Father, I still need to see that. So there are, you know, there, there are a handful of movies I still need to see and prep for the actual Oscars. Some of those movies that I think I need to see will be, uh, uh, will be movies put on my list for sure if they get nominated. So that's kind of how I am basing how how to watch them how how soon to watch them essentially um but yeah it was uh minari is a fantastic film i i don't want to get too much into it but i'm just very every all the acting all around is just great any armageddon fans the movie armageddon 90s movie will Patton plays chick in um, in Armageddon, he's in it, and he is sort of a, a stress inducer, 
create stress in the film. You're just sort of like worried about what his character is all about quite a bit. Um, really, really like what they did with him and his uh, performance. I thought that was pretty fantastic. Uh, Alan Kim, he's the youngest cast member. He's absolutely fantastic as well. Um, could be considered the lead, I think, along with Steven. Um, really, it's, I don't know, it's kind of like an ensemble piece when it comes to the family. Like, they, you know, are all, you know, pretty important. But I think, I think it would probably be, when it comes to the perspective of who you're watching the movie from, I don't know, everybody gets a little bit. It's, a. Uh, I don't know. I'd have to think about it a little bit more to solidify who I think would be considered lead, would be considered supporting, etc. from the family. Uh, but I think, um... The, the 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 son and the father um, are certainly leads. The mother maybe as well. The daughter I don't think so. Um, but I, it could just be Stephen. You know the father. Uh, he he might be the only lead. I I don't know. Again, I th this just popped into my head, and I literally just finished the movie, so it you know could. I, I could be totally off. It's something I might need to sit with. Not that it's even, I don't know, that important, but it is something going through my mind. But, okay, I don't know. I just, I want to sing its praises, and it's one that I definitely want to recommend, and I will be rooting for at the Oscars to succeed in any way that um, it can, because I like it. So, thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope it wasn't jumping around too much. What do you think of that logo? I don't know. Like, it, it's not like a final thing. It was just me playing around on my phone. So, that's what it is. It's not something that will stick around forever, but I thought I'd put it in there. So, yeah, I guess, uh, again, thank you so much for watching, and perhaps I'll see you tomorrow for more Pure Hangout.